Hey, good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. Rob here from Southwest Florida Television. I'm up at the north end of Area 2 Beach at Del Norwegian's Pass State Park in North Naples, Florida. Another very, very calm morning out in the Gulf. Look how flat that water is. Wow. Still under the red tide warning here. One person down to the south of me. Pretty much deserted here again, although it is a little early. Beautiful out here. Weather-wise, it's fantastic. Water-wise, still dealing with red tide. Oh, the water looks a little clearer than it was on Saturday when I was out here. That's a good sign. But the water is getting clearer. Looks like the rangers have cleaned the beach up here a lot. There's not many dead fish on the beach. Very, very few. Bad news is those darn raccoons are still digging Digging at the sea turtle nests. We've gotten a few of the eggs in this one. It's one of the empty shells. All right. Trying to get into this one too, number 56. These darn little raccoons, I can't, I mean, they're starving. The poor raccoons are starving to death here because the beach is so empty. Nobody's leaving trash behind. The raccoons are starving. They're getting desperate, going after the turtle nests. They're eating the dead fish on the beach. There's been quite a few raccoons that have died because they ate that toxic fish. Ugh. The beach looks pretty good here as far as cleanup. The rangers did a pretty darn good job and volunteers. I know they had some volunteers out there working. You can 
see down you can see how clear the water is it's getting clearer and clearer much clearer than it was when i was out here saturday we're still under a red tide warning sometimes looks can be deceiving little breeze out here it's really really nice out here here's an interesting little crab I don't know what kind of crab that is it's some kind of mutated leopard crab it looks like it's alive definitely alive I don't know what it is it has the color pattern on it of a of a leopard crab, a calico crab. Whoop. Interesting little crab. He's gonna be very odd shaped shell though. Not very feisty. Just kind of walking slowly along the beach. Ah, very cool. A little bit of life. Just a little further up. Another one, dead. The same kind of crab, but dead. What a shame. Interesting shells though. And another one, hmm. That looks like the red tide is going after the crabs. This one is just clinging to life here. How sad. How sad. Just proof that the red tide is still out there. There's our, one of our park rangers making his morning rounds here. Checking the beach, checking our sea turtle nests, seeing what's left of them. If anything. The poor nests, the sea turtle nests are taking a beating. Oh, another poor calico crab on the beach. A dead one. Showing any signs of life here. Such beautiful, beautiful little crabs. Killed by the red tide. And calico crab. I think those other ones were baby calicos. What a shame to see these on the beach. They're such beautiful, beautiful crabs. But then again, people eat them. Down the Caribbean, they say they eat the calicos. They get pretty big too. This is a very small one. Gosh, 
and there's another little baby one. What's what's left of one? Uh. A couple little dead fish here and there. A grim reminder of what we're dealing with here. And then, amongst all that, a beautiful, a beautiful little kitten's paw shell. Look at that. The entire shell, both sides, the kitten's paw. That's definitely got an interesting pattern. That's a cool one. Pretty good size, too. Boy, lots of crabs on the beach. Dead crabs this morning. Instead of seeing fish, we're seeing crabs. Blue crab. That's a dead blue crab there. Look how blue. Look how blue those claws are. Dead blue crab. And then over here, sadly, a little baby stone crab. A little dead stone crab. Why the dead crabs this morning? What's going on? Over here, a beautiful olive shell. Look at that. A gorgeous little olive shell. And yet, more dead crabs. Definitely a sign that red tide is still out there. This is a little stone crab. Poor dead stone crab. Is this guy alive? Nope. little kitten paw shells around it. Lots of kittens paws on the beach this morning. Boy, so many dead crabs. There's another shell from a dead crab. There's another dead crab over there. Lots of little Little dead sand dollars on the beach. Hmm. Little baby sand dollars. Such a shame to see all this dead marine life out here. These little sand dollars just all piled up. There's just piles of little dead sand dollars on the beach. I mean, the good news is you can take them home. But they're everywhere, these little sand dollars.
there's, if you look closely here, there's one there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, there's probably eight. There's probably a dozen little sand dollars just right here at my feet. It's crazy. Crazy, crazy what's going on here with this red tide. Little crab shell. It's left of a little crab there. High tide's about 9.15 this morning, so the tide's almost all the way in. Still a deserted beach here. This is not good. You look out in the water, it's so calm and flat. But no people here enjoying the beach. Awful. Awful, awful. I'm not having any problems breathing right now. I just can't get over all these little sand dollars. And they are everywhere. The beach is just covered with them. Absolutely covered with sand dollars. Ooh, there's one over there. One over there, one over there. Everywhere you look, look at this. Piles, these are all, all sand dollars. Look at that, it's just a handful of sand dollars. They're everywhere. So sad. This red tide is taking its toll on everything. Look at them all. Look at all the sand dollars. Piles of them. Piles and piles. Everywhere. A piece of a moon shell over there. A little moon shell buried in there. A little shark eye shell. It's a nice little find. A little shark eye. I guess we're not gonna have many sand dollars offshore. Looks like the red tide has killed them all. All the little baby sand dollars are dead on the beach. What a sad, sad sight. I'm sorry, but I am just amazed at how many sand dollars there are. Just goes to show how many we had offshore. There's piles of them here. Piles. Everywhere you look. Sand dollars. They're just all along the beach here.
And every once in a while, you see what's left of a dead fish on the beach. Here's what's left of an eel all dried out. A little squiggly thing. It's a dead eel. It looks like for the most part, the rangers have done a great job of cleaning up the beach. Saw quite a few crabs. Another blue crab. Another dead blue crab. I've seen leopard crabs, blue crabs, stone crabs. There's another dead blue crab. Those are tasty too. <laughs> We're up at Area 4 now. We're at Area 4 Beach. for some shells as I walk along here. Not seeing a whole lot. There's a lot of shells, but nothing's catching my attention here. A piece of an old whelk shell right there. There's a piece of a piece of a lace murex shell right there. An old lace murex. Kind of neat. You can see the inside of it. Down here, a scallop buried in here. Yeah, nice little scallop shell. It's a good looking little scallop. I don't know what you're gonna find in there. Start sifting around. Gonna go see Roy later today. Check in on him, see how he's doing. And it looks like the rangers didn't quite get up here. Lots of dead fish here decomposing on the beach. Fish, crabs, yeah. Yeah, I'll go see how Roy's doing, and if there's any changes, I'll let everybody know. But I'm pretty sure he's on the road to recovery. seen a lot of blue crabs on the beach a lot of dead blue crabs there's another one down there how sad that just means the red tide has gotten all the way down to the bottom it's all dead fish right along there that's a line of dead fish all little bait fish all along there Hmm. There's a 
big piece of worm rock down here. Yeah, that is a big piece of worm rock. That's a nice looking piece of worm rock right there. Look at all the worm tubes on it. Wow. That's very cool. There sure is a lot of shells out here. A lot of them. I've seen lots of these little cockle shells as I've been walking along the beach. I've seen a lot of these. So deceiving when you stand here and look at the water. It really doesn't look that bad, but yet it is. There's proof. There's proof that the red tide is still lingering around here. All these dead fish. A deserted beach in beautiful southwest Florida. Pretty sad sight. A pretty sad sight, a deserted beach. A lot of erosion here too in area four. There's a pretty steep embankment here. Another dead blue crab up on the beach. Got quite a, crawled up a ways on the beach there.
I'm just slowly walking along here, checking the ground. Seeing if there's anything, any interesting shells down there. It's so sad seeing these dead fish. It's just horrible what this red tide is doing, not just to the marine life, but to people. It's ruining their businesses. It's killing our tourism. Terrible. There's a little, little teeny, teeny tiny baby lightning whelk shell. Just an itty bitty one. More dead crabs and fish. piece of a tulip shell. Wow, look at how red that tulip shell is. Wow. Never saw one that bright of an orange before. It's incredible. Whoops. You can see the inside of it. It's pretty cool. It's left of a tulip. Look how bright orange that is. Wow. What is this red tide doing to our commercial fishermen? How is it affecting them? It's got to be killing them. Killing their business. Gulls and turns out there on the sandbar.
Nobody but me and the birds out here this morning. more dead crabs on the beach there's one little dead crab over here big dead blue crab over here this is area four up by the big trees where Roy hang would be hanging out here today. You can see the water. It's a little clearer than it has been. Still not very pretty. Another one of those little crabs down here. I don't know what kind of crabs these are. I don't know what these are, if these are baby calicos or what, or spider crabs, I don't know. We saw quite a few of these dead on the beach this morning. Several different types of crabs dead on the beach this morning. Such a sad sight. And just next to it, there's a murex shell. Looks like an old apple murex shell. shells up here up by where Roy would normally be there's another old there's a worn out apple murex shell nice little small olive nice little small olives got the tip on it that's a great little olive shell Gallop shell down there. Looks like flipped over. Sad seeing all the 
this dead sea life. Beautiful little shells mm, mixed in with the dead, dead sea life. Look at that. Nice little moon shell, another little moon shell. It's like a piece of a murex over here. No, pretty good size apple murex shell. It's a pretty nice size little apple murex for this beach. Little moon shell next to it. Hmm. Yeah, there's still some nice little finds out here. There's still some beauty. Like I said, I'm not having any trouble breathing out here. I don't smell that nasty red tide. As you can see, the dead fish. The red tide is still lingering. They're all little bait fish. Some eels, see those long springy things? Those are eels, dead eels. Such a sad sight. A little walk out on this sandbar, see if any shells might have washed up. Tide is on its way back in here. High tide's at 912. You see it's coming right up over the sandbar. Pretty soon this sandbar is gonna be underwater. There's another nice little olive shell. Lots of little jewel box shells down here. The beach is loaded with jewel box shells. There's a couple of them right here. The jewel box. You can see a fighting conch. There's a little fighting conch shell right down there. see anything out here. Maybe down here, I see some shells at the end here of the sandbar. Nothing down here. Nothing, nothing. Little baby fighting conch over there. Let's see, anything else? There's a little fighting conch shell, a little baby fighting conch. Nice little specimen there. A little baby Florida fighting conch shell. So look 
down to the south. Again, there's where Roy would normally be sitting, right there under those trees. I sure do miss seeing him out here in the mornings. I know he misses being out here. But his health is more important than being out on the beach right now. It's a beautiful big scallop shell down here in the water. Lots of scallops out here. Look at that big white scallop. Wow. That's a nice one. So sad seeing all these dead crabs out here. Everywhere. These poor little dead crabs everywhere. All along the beach, out in the water. Terrible, terrible sight. Live clamshell is actually alive. Huh. Just closed up as I picked it up. Beautiful shell. Absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous shell. I'm sure it's on its way to dying, like everything else out here. Dead Sea Star. There's a dead nine-armed sea star. That's the first one I've seen along here. So sad. Like I said, this red tide is not sparing anything. It's taking its toll on everything. So all we can do is pray and hope that scientists figure out a way to control these red algae blooms and our government can figure out a way to a better way of keeping Lake Okeechobee clean. There's no simple solution, I can guarantee you that. Nothing's gonna happen overnight. Unless, of course, God performs a miracle. <laughs> it's all up to him. I'm just gonna slowly make my way back down the beach here. Keep an eye open. There's a little tiny pile of shells, a little ridge line. Yeah, I found a couple neat shells in already. A little bit earlier. Nice little murex and a moon shell. A 
I'm not seeing anything here. Now I see one person up there getting some sun, our friend Ann. She's up on the beach. Like I said earlier, I said a few times, the water, you don't smell that red tide out here. We're not getting any of that terrible stench of the red tide. The rangers have picked up a lot of the dead fish on the beach. But there is red tide lingering offshore here, no doubt about it. That water is far from pristine. Not even enjoyable walking out here without people. It's just so sad seeing all this dead stuff here. It's beautiful blue crabs. Beautiful blue crabs just dead on the beach. Terrible. Terrible to have to look at this stuff. Go back, check out my videos. Take some time looking at my older videos at this beach. You can see how beautiful it was. Yeah, we've had some bouts of red tide over the past years. And you'll see those on there. This is by far the worst one, by far. You'll see some beautiful things. Some beautiful dolphin encounters that we've had here. Seems like those dolphins have moved away and I don't blame them. I haven't seen any lately. They've got to go to where the food supply is good. Definitely they don't want to be eating any fish out in this red tide. birds out here. You can still find some beauty out here. If you open your eyes. Turkey wing shell down here. The little turkey wings. Found a couple little moon shells this morning. Two little moon shells, shark eyes. Still finding some shells here, that's a good sign, that's nice. Found a couple nice little olive shells. Found a nice little apple murex. Nice little apple murex shell this morning. Pretty good sized murex. I 
just not as enthused as I normally would be about walking along the beach. Kind of depressing. You can hear all the birds there. Kind of mesmerizing just standing there listening to him. Before you make any plans to go to the beach anywhere in South Florida, especially on the southwest coast here, do do some Googling. Find out where the red tide is. They say it's better the further south you go, the better it gets. I guess there's people swimming down by the pier. In Marco Island. It's supposed to be pretty nice from what I've heard. I haven't seen it. Somebody said they opened up Lover's Key State Park. That's to the north of us. As you can see, there's nobody here at the beach. The signs are still flashing that there's red tide present by the entrance. Not seeing much of anything along the beach here. This beach has really changed a lot over the past six months. It's changed shape. It's incredible how much it has changed shape. We've lost areas of the beach and we've gained new beach in different spots this is all new out here this sand out here is all new covered with dead fish.
<laughs> dead fish, dead crabs. Nice little scallop shell there. It's a great looking little scallop. hard to stand here looking at the looking up the beach just knowing that this water is full of red tide it's just horrible Relaxing, standing here listening to the waves. It's so peaceful. So we look, this is looking north. This is all what they call this is Area 4 Beach. Area 5 up there to the north. And up there, that's Barefoot Beach. Actually, it's so so clear here this morning. You can see the condos all the way, the hotels and condos all the way up to Fort Myers Beach there. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful weather this morning. Absolutely gorgeous. Clear blue sky. sit here looking at this and it's just so hard to believe what's out here in this water look at how pretty this water is right here Beautiful, look at those clouds out there. Absolutely gorgeous. Now we look out there, see that beautiful blue sky and what appears to be beautiful water and then I turn around and right behind me a dead horseshoe crab dead fish lined up along the beach Mother Nature can be pretty deceiving. It's horrible. And if you look through all of that, 
Look along the beach. Got shells piled up everywhere. Who knows what beautiful little treasures you'll find down here. Beautiful little cockle. Just beautiful little shells everywhere. Little slipper shells all over the beach today. Little kitten's paws. There's a broken kitten's paw. Seeing lots of little slippers all along the beach today. The little slipper shells. There's so many dead crabs on the beach this morning. Lots and lots of dead crabs. Even saw some dead stone crabs again. Look at that, look at that. there's a beautiful scallop shell down there. A beautiful looking scallop. That bright orange. They just stick out like a sore thumb, these scallop shells on the beach. You find these in all different colors black, white, purple, red, orange, yellow. Beautiful, the scallops. See our park rangers working down here. They're checking on sea turtle nests. There's another dead blue crab on the beach right there. So sad. Our poor sea turtle nests. Oh, they're getting destroyed. Destroyed here by the raccoons. It's absolutely terrible. The raccoons are starving to death here at the park because our beaches are empty. So there's nobody leaving any trash behind in the trash cans. So the food source for the raccoons is drying up and they're desperate. They're resorting to digging into the sea turtle nests along the beach and eating the eggs something else that we're seeing all along the beach are dead sand dollars little baby sand dollars washed up all along the beach such a sad sight but they're everywhere there's if you look there's a couple there there's one over there sand dollars just everywhere on the beach Terrible sight. These raccoons, they've even, besides the sea turtles, they're eating the dead fish on the beach. And because of the toxins in the fish from that red algae, it's killing the raccoons.
I am very surprised that I haven't seen any dead birds along the beach. I guess the birds are smart. One yelling at me over here, walking alongside of me. <laughs> yeah, I said you're smart, not eating those dirty fish. It's just so sad seeing this deserted beach. Awful. I see a handful of people down to the south. For all I know, they might be volunteers cleaning up some dead fish. But as I turn around here, you'll see for all intents and purposes, this beach is deserted. I see one person, one person up there in her lounge chair. That is it, a deserted beach. Not a good thing to see in Southwest Florida. These beaches are our money. Hopefully they'll come back. Just a shame to have to look at this. I mean, I know what this place looked like a year ago. Absolutely stunning. And to see it like this, empty. Uh. So flat out there this morning, so calm. It's like our rangers are have the grim task of checking on the sea turtle nest here, seeing how many eggs were destroyed by the raccoons. Terrible. Absolutely horrible. So, so sad. What a shame. What a sad sight. Did they wipe it out? Uh, maybe, probably. This one's that's, about to hatch too. That's so sad. Yeah, it's really sad. 
How's uh, Roy doing? Roy is on the road to recovery. Yeah, I, I watch your updates online. Yeah, yeah I do too. <laughs> now that I know what you do. There you go. Yeah, you're yeah. a star now. You're yes, famous. I saw you. <laughs> no, he's uh, he's doing better. He's just really depressed. Yeah. You know, he wants to be out of there, but oh, I bet. he's going to be in for probably a month. Oh, that's awful. Poor guy. Well, it was you know awful that. to find him, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, you saw him? Yeah. You're, you I, was saw... one, I was the one that got the call. Oh. Yeah. Because as soon as someone said it, I was like, "Describe him for me." And yeah. they said it, I was like, "Oh my God, that's him." Yep. So he's sad. lucky you found him. He's lucky somebody found yeah. him. Yeah. You know? And it was the person who was there who showed who found him was actually an ER nurse. Oh. Okay. She was she was just down here on vacation. Oh wow. So she was. We were real lucky she found him. Yeah, I mean he's lucky there was somebody here at the beach. Yeah, that's I mean, true. That's true. He's here early. No, yeah, no, but that was a weird nope. day. He yeah. came late. He oh, came at really? like noon. Yeah, he came flying through the gate, I heard, like yeah. driving like a madman. What yeah. apparently what it was is he was in um what was it septic shock. Really? Yeah. Yeah, he was in he didn't know what he was doing. Oh my god. Or where he was. Yeah, we were wondering what was going on and but you know, we were also like, ah, it's Roy. Yeah, right. <laughs> there you go. You don't know about Roy. Maybe there was a gal waiting for him down here. <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, we always knew, like, you know, Beach is his first lady, so yeah. can't, can't get in the way of that. Oh, that is so sad, seeing all those little dead sea turtles. It really is. It really is. And it's just not my most favorite part of the job no. right here. That is horrible. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and I guess the raccoons are starving to death, huh? Yeah. yeah it's... Without the trash. Yeah. Come through your trash in our dumpsters. There you go. Somebody, yes. somebody was watching and said, I'm going to bring some dog food out there. <laughs> Buy a big bag of dog food. Just make sure it goes in the dumpster and not, oh, there you not go. on the beach. Just put it in the trash cans. They'll yeah, find it. absolutely. <laughs> Technically, I, I'm not allowed to say that. So. You didn't. <laughs> don't, don't really do that. Right. Uh -oh. Oh. Yeah. One of the grim tasks of being a ranger and a volunteer. Yeah. Hey, I see you find a lot of cool shells out here. Yeah. I... Um, if you ever just want to drop some of them off. Oh yeah. Let me know because I want to redo the uh, the shell. Oh, you need to. Okay. Display that's yeah. in the pavilion. Yeah. Yeah, it's getting a little outdated. Yeah. Little... It's broken up, and there's a lot of stuff that needs to be redone. Yep. Yeah. Sure. Thank you. Yeah. Poor little babies. They were so close. Yeah, they were like just about ready to pop. Yeah. Is he left? Alright guys. All right. I'll you see you later. Thanks for doing what you do. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Oh, such a sad sight. That was one of the turtle nests that the raccoons destroyed. So what the rangers do is they'll go in and they'll they always keep track of how many eggs were laid, how many eggs actually hatched. After hatching, they'll go in and count the eggs that hatched, count the ones that didn't develop, didn't hatch. And they keep pretty good records on all that. Now they have the sad, sad chore of counting how many eggs were in that nest that the raccoons just destroyed. Huh. But anyway, Thank you for joining in. Thanks for watching. Be sure to tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Take the time to go through my videos. There's a lot of great videos here that I've recorded over the years. Some really great dolphin, dolphin encounters here. Roy and I have seen some really fun things here and had some great conversations over the years. So take some time, watch all those videos. If you find one you like, hit the share button, hit the like button, let your friends watch it. Remember, I don't get paid to come out here and do this. I enjoyed giving these updates, but if anybody wants to make a little contribution, it's always appreciated. You can find my PayPal account in the description of this post shortly here at the conclusion of this live feed. One more look out into the Gulf and up the beach.
Well, thanks for watching. Have a fantastic Monday. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.